Hi, I'm Lowe's Vogel Sharp. Today is August 30th, 2018. And I received this prophetic word yesterday. Um, but because of um, the totaling of my other car, I've been running around nonstop, Gary and I. So this is the first chance that I've had to do this. And it's getting to be late. So I'm doing it outside. So hopefully you can see me. Um, let me just read what the Father gave me. Actually, the Father speaks and then Jesus speaks. So let me read it. The world, my love, has come into a time like never before, and I tell you truly, unless I shorten these days, no flesh would remain. What the world does not see is this spiritual realm where demons, Nephilim, and all manner of evil is now moving across the earth to consume everything that will accept it. The world has strayed away from my righteousness to such a point that it deems evil as acceptable and truly is becoming reprobate. When women can cheer the murder of a life, and when men can accept taking a child and using it for their own self-pleasure, and, and they feel that this is acceptable, it is time to stop man once again. When children can be molded into accepting what is against human nature, and the world truly feels that anyone who opposes such beliefs is a hater of mankind, it is time for me as God, as Father as one who has who loves you to step in and stop such abominations i tell you my people that you are no longer safe in your own backyard the rising up of evil has excelled to such a point that you will have a target upon your heads woe unto the earth for her abominations in my sight woe unto the earth for believing the lies of a fallen angel rather than the god who created you why would anyone ever feel that murder is acceptable act and why would anyone feel that love could be in a category of the destruction of a human being's heart and soul? Man has come to a point where he has become his own God and his own judge and will continue to come against anything that will tell him he is wrong. I tell you, the closed doors will open for entry and will shut behind you while my wrath pours down. You have not much time to build the safe zones because my wrath is beginning and you will continue to see the escalation of earthquakes, volcanoes, tsunamis, and record-breaking temperatures and record-breaking weather phenomena. And this is where Jesus starts to talk. Do not be afraid, my love, for I am coming to gather you to my heart for eternity. My angels wait for the sound of the trump to come and snatch you away from a planet that is manifesting the evil upon her. I cannot sit upon my throne next to my father and watch our creation cry in the corners of your rooms while the evil takes every soul he can to hell. My bride will be rescued and I tell you my spirit will guide you and show you truth. And those who have fallen prey to the evil one and his lies will be shown truth. Stop, look and listen for I tell you plainly that reprobate minds are everywhere because demons have been allowed on the earth and they will grab anyone who is vulnerable and does not know what is truth. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. So the message must continue to be preached. Evil is not to be mocked but rebuked, and love is not to accept sin or abominations but grab the soul of the person and lead them to the truth so they can be set free. Love is the power to reveal my redemption, not mockery to those who are bound by sin. Human beings are being taken over by all manner of evil entities. And I tell you, beware of the robots and the system that has no soul, which will be controlled by Satan. There will be no explaining truth to someone whose soul has been racked with the abominations of demonic entities. So the only recourse you will have is to stay together as they did in the book of Acts. I tell you it will be like never before, for you will see the manifestation of signs and wonders coming from the evil one, and with such power that if it were possible, even my elect would be deceived. But you, my love, know my heart and know my voice, and you will be led to all truth. Love one another as I have loved you. Help one another in your missions to be completed and use my gift of discernment in these days of darkness that will spiritually consume the earth. My light will never be put out and my people will shine brighter and brighter in the midst of a world that has gone reprobate. I will be with you, so fear not and walk into my kingdom. 
This world has nothing to offer, so stop looking to it for your answers. Time for my kingdom to rise up once again, but this time it will be even greater. The latter rain will be greater than the former rain, so saturate yourselves with my Holy Spirit and watch the power and the fire become ignited, and my witness will be brought everywhere to reveal truth. Love is the way to show those who will receive my truth. The world is already condemned, so keep your eyes on me, and my spirit will show you everything you need to do. Shalom, and may the peace that passes all understanding fall upon each of you while you wait for my return. Love, Yeshua. And that's what I got. It just came out of nowhere, and um, I'm up here reading it to you. Um, what he's telling us is things are about to really get rough, and we're about to see a lot of really not so good things. We have to trust God, trust the Holy Spirit, trust Jesus, keep um, praising him, keep praying without ceasing, love one another, love one another, love one another. That's our only answer. That's the only way you know God's people. You know them by their fruits. That's the only way to know the difference. Not by signs and wonders, but by the fruits of the Spirit. And um, I'll be back when he sends me back again. I just wanted to get this word out as quick as I can. Because when the Father says something, it has to get out there. So even though I've had a bunch of crazy days, um, the Lord worked everything out with the car. So everything's good on this end. So just keep praising the Lord. And I'm Lois Vogel Sharp. And I will be back when he sends me back again. And have a blessed night.